How do you feel now after the World Cup? Good, yeah, yeah. feel good. The rest was a very important to have over the week, or six days you needed between the last game of the World Cup. Was that important that you need to uh, those physically? I mean, yeah, it was obviously a, a lot of fun, uh, the World Cup there. It was, uh, um, it was tough, it wasn't easy by any means. And, um, a couple of days off obviously doesn't hurt, but uh, it's good to get back at it again. Was that the same thrill you lived there <laughs> like in the Olympics? Can you compare? Uh, you don't really compare anything like that. Um, everything's different in its own way. and uh, It was a lot of fun. It was very special and uh, fortunate to be a part of that group. And uh, Now we're moving forward and, and our goal here to, to make the playoffs and, and do what we can do here. What's your first thoughts on your new partner, Bolu? Uh, yeah, it was uh, a good first day. Obviously, we're gonna have to, you know, kind of build uh, build as we go here. And he's obviously a great young defenseman with a lot of talent, and uh, looking forward to uh, uh, playing with him and the other guys. Shea, are you 100% healthy? We, we saw in the World of Cup. Of course. Happening. Shea, how much did the uh, 14 Olympics and then the World Cup experience help you and Kerry become accustomed to each other on the ice, tendencies wise, and so forth? Now that your teammates, uh, yeah. the club team. <clears throat> yeah, obviously it helps. Uh, the more you play with somebody, the, the more you're going to get used to, to what they do and, and build chemistry that way. Um, I've known Kerry off the ice for, for a long time, so that obviously helps too, knowing uh, knowing somebody uh, on a personal level, uh, especially coming into a to new, new locker room, new environment, that helped. What do you see in Bolger's game that makes you think you're, you're going to have a good pairing with him on the ice? Uh, I mean, he's great. Like I said, he's a great young defenseman. He skates really well. You can see the, the way he uh, um, sees the ice and moves the puck. And um, obviously, the more I play with him, the more I'm going to see what else he can do and um, get more accustomed to everything that he can do. A bit of a scary moment with JJ uh, on the ice at the end. The slap oh, yeah. Shot from the him. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll have to move uh, the angle off the crossbar. There was. Uh, it was a little too close for comfort. I actually thought I hit him, but uh, <laughs> thankfully it didn't. <laughs> what do you think the, the strengths are of this team uh, going into the season? Uh, obviously, uh, um, there's a good group in here. They made some good moves this offseason to, to solidify the, the core. And obviously, there's a lot of speed in here, too, guys that uh, can play fast. And um, I think you've got the best goalie in the world. So it's, uh, um, if those are some of the strengths, I think that's a pretty good way to sum it up. Are you excited nope. to just get a, a game under your belt with these guys and learn their tendencies, you know, carries very well? Uh, yeah, for sure. That's uh, yeah, fortunate to have an opportunity for the end of the season uh, tomorrow to get accustomed to, to everything here and um, the guys in here. And hopefully, uh, you know, as the season progresses here, we can get more and more used to it. Non-hockey question, Shay. How loud did you cheer when Edwin uh, jacked the uh, walk-off? <laughs> Yeah, uh, everyone was sleeping in my house, so I uh, tried not to be too loud, but uh, it was an exciting game. I mean, both ways, it was a, a fun game to watch. It was uh, definitely a game seven. I mean, it, winner, winner goes on, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun to watch. Shay, how much of a challenge will it be catching up with the system here, just because you were away from the World Cup? It's a shorter training camp than you'd be used to with the new system to learn. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, anytime you go to these events, you go to these international events, you need to learn a system in like two or three days. So. Um, it's going to be just like that, and obviously it's going to be a, a work in progress. It's not just going to happen overnight. It's going to be uh, a lot of work here with the coaches and uh, the guys in the room, and, and try and get everything dialed in. Because that, because that you were with Kari uh, in in, uh, in Toronto for the World Cup, will it be easier for you guys, as a leader of this group, to bring this type of um, energy that you guys get from from the, your championship and the World Cup together? Uh, I don't, it's different. Obviously, uh, uh, Kerry's been here a long time, so he knows, uh, you know, he knows what it's like in here a lot more than I do. And um, you know, the guys in here seem like a great group of guys, and um, I'm happy to be here and, and trying to fit in with them and, and work towards the, the same goal here. What have you heard or seen about Sergio? Uh, yeah, just seen him uh, last couple of days here. Looks good. Um, can't really comment too much because I haven't uh, seen him a whole lot. Surprised to see an 18 years old guy playing like that with with men. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it, you know, it takes a talented, uh, uh, obviously mentally uh, strong young man to, to be able to do that. Um, it's especially hard as a defenseman. You don't see a whole lot of 18 year old defensemen play um, play in this league. So, I mean, he's uh, he's doing a great job, and hopefully, he can uh, just continue to grow.